What you doing? Look. got to make that. We? Uh -huh. hey. We're going to make brownie bowls. Just like in the video, it was so yummy. Now, we've never made these before, so we're going to try it for the first time today with you. Now, to make brownie bowls, we need to make brownies. And on my box of brownies here, it has certain ingredients we need. It says to use water, check, oil, check, and one egg. Check. Um, egg? Hmm. I wonder what happened to the egg. We need a... Oh, there you are. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. That's my friend Sophie. She's going to help us. Okay, we got the ingredients to make the brownies. So let's make the brownie mix and move on to the next step. Let's get a good mix in. Good mixing. How you doing, Sophie? I'm okay. Mmm, looks good. Okay, so now that our brownie mix is done, we're going to take it and scoop it into our muffin tin. Our friend Sophie over there, she's going to Pam spray, or put a little bit of Pam spray, which is like a light oil, into all the muffin tins so that the brownies don't stick. Ready, Sophie? Where are you going? Um, uh, what? Sophie, I need you to put some Pam spray into all the muffin tins here so that the brownies don't stick. Got it? Okay. What? Where are you going? I'm going to get the Pam spray. It's right there. Oh. Okay. Okay, so what we've done here, we started scooping some of the muffins. Oh, I'm sorry. We started scooping some of the batter into the muffin tins. Maybe about two-thirds full. Maybe not even that much. Because what's going to happen when we put the other pan on top of it, we're going to smush them down. I'll show you. Watch. Okay, so now that we have put all of the batter into our tins, our muffin pins, we're going to take an identical muffin tin, turn it upside down, and spray the bottom with Pam spray. And this time I think I'm going to use Mama Vanessa's hand. I think Sophie has left. Okay, so we're going to spray the bottom all around. And while she's doing that, I'll show you the next step. Okay, and now that we have the brownies done, I'm going to take the other pan, which we flipped over upside down, and push it into. You can only do this one time. Let's hope you get it right. Okay. One, two, three. We're going to push it into the other pan. And boom. Squish. Smush. 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 Smush, 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 smush. Remember, you have to have identical pans to make this work. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it looks like we didn't make anything at all. <laughs> Funny. So, now we have to put it in the oven at 300 degrees for about 30 minutes. I believe that's what the video said, but just in case. We'll probably put a link to the video under our video so you can check it out. It's only 40 seconds long, so you got to be fast to watch it. Okay, 30 minutes in the oven. I'm going to go find Sophie. Okay, we took it out of the oven, and it's really, really hot. So don't touch it until it cools down completely. And then we're going to take the top off, okay? Remember, don't touch it. Sophie! Don't touch it. And here's the finished product. 
This one didn't come out as neat and perfect as we would have liked. Like we said, it was our first time and we kind of broke off a piece of it when we were taking it out of the pan. That's why it's very important to let the pan cool down all the way because if it's still hot, pieces of it will break off when you take it out. <sighs> but that's okay, we can still eat it. So let's pile on the goodies. Mm, mm, mm. That looks yummy. Thank you so much for helping me make it. It was so much fun. And we're going to try it again one day. This time, hopefully, remember to let it cool down a little bit more. But even though some of the pieces broke away, it doesn't matter. Mm, 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 mm. Because the whole thing is 100% edible. Well, not the plate. So thanks again. Have fun making this yourself. Hmm. Now, the fun part. Let's eat. 